In this video from Reports Your Way, we will look at how to create a report with a variable number of columns for reporting from Dynamics NAV. While many report designers never utilize this technique, you may just find a use for it and it helps to showcase the power of JET reports. This request came from a JET customer who needed to see a list of sales reps down the page and across the page they wanted to see the customer numbers associated with each sales rep. This seems easy enough, but is it? We can create a list of sales reps using NL rows. We can then create columns of customer numbers for that sales rep using NL columns. But when we run the report, it's not what we expected. The first column of customer numbers is correct for all the sales reps, and the first row is correct for the first sales rep. However, the report is limited by the number of columns for that first sales rep and the customer numbers for the rest of the report repeat down the page. This is not what we were looking for. Here's how it can be done. We'll be using JET's NL rows, NL columns, NP integers, and NF functions for this report. On the first worksheet, we need to know which sales rep has the largest number of customers and we want that sales rep to be the first in the list. The technique we need is called sort by count. Jet Global has an excellent article on how to do sort by sum or by count for NAV. The first function, an NL rows, will list the sales reps sorted by the rep with the most customers. We are using the customer table for this, but you can also use a transaction table such as customer ledger entry if your report is date sensitive. Before JET returns the results, we can get JET to count within NAV how many customers each rep has and sort the list into descending order by the number of customers. To do this, let's start in the cell beside the sales rep code. Here we need the actual count. It is a straightforward count of all the customers for that sales rep. Next, we need to embed that NL count inside the NL rows. The NL count function needs to be within double quotes, and the field names inside need to be within two double quotes. You can either refer to the NL count in a separate cell, as long as it is in this proper quote form, or you can make it part of the NL rows itself. In essence, the NL count becomes a field name, and as with any field name in JET, we can ask it to be in descending order by placing a minus sign at the front. For the field filter value, we simply need an asterisk. Let's name this worksheet Hidden Sheet, and in cell A1, we'll enter Auto plus Hide plus Values plus Hide Sheet. On the next worksheet, we will create the report. Let's use NPEval to bring the count for the first sales rep over here to the report page. Next, we can create that list of sales reps again, but this time we can put them in order of salesperson code. An NF function allows us to show the code, and we can put the name in the cell beside that. Now for the fun part. For creating the variable number of columns, we're going to use the NP integer feature embedded in the NL columns. For the NP integer, we need a starting number, which is the number 1, and ending number, which will be the maximum number that we brought over from the hidden sheet. When you run the report, you will see the list of sales reps and you will see a number series starting at 1 and ending at the maximum number. In our case, our maximum number is 65. To get the customer number to appear, we're going to use an NL with the customer table and filter for that sales rep. Don't forget to lock onto that sales rep code using the dollar sign in front of the column reference. For the what parameter, we are simply going to use the integer in that column, and this time making sure we lock onto that row using a dollar sign on the row reference. By using a number for the what parameter, we are telling JET to retrieve the first customer number, then the second customer number, then the third customer number, and so on. 
we run the report, and there you have it. A list of salespeople going down the page and a list of each of their customers off to the right. With just a few functions, we've harnessed some very powerful features of Jet Reports. We hope you enjoyed this video from Reports Your Way and found it helpful. Please see the other videos from us on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.